Hey guys, Techno Material with the video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your camera if it's vibrating, blurry, or shaking when you're trying to take a photo. Now, this is an issue that a lot of you guys are experiencing on the new iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max when you're using third-party apps. And that's because there is a bug that Apple has discovered and a lot of you guys are impacted by it. However, in the last couple of days, Apple actually released the software update to fix this. There was previous solutions that people try to do different things, but none of them really helped. It sometimes helped a little bit, but we're going to show you the exact fix for that camera blurriness or vibration or shakiness when you ever use it. So what you'll do is you'll need to update your software to 16.0.2. So if you go into settings and then go to general, software update now you'll see here this is 16.0 so on the 14 pro or the 14 pro max if you haven't done an upgrade yet you'll see that the phone does have an update in the very first bullet here that says camera may vibrate or cause blurry photos when shooting on third-party apps on the iphone 13 pro and the 13 pro max so this exact fix is on this version of release that was announced a couple days ago all you have to do is simply connect it to a good wi-fi resource um, and then download and install now if you have another device that's impacted that you have an update to ios 16 yet or if you update it to ios 16 you'll see something similar like this so if you go to general again software update and this is the specific version it is. That one's already bundled in, but you'll see the same exact thing that Apple mentions here, this exact version. It is out, available for anyone to download. It's about 255 meg if you're getting it, depending on the phone, so a couple hundred megs. If you don't have enough space, make sure you make the space by clearing up some space. But all you'll do is simply go ahead and download, click on that install, and then here, we're gonna make sure we're in a good Wi-Fi, let it load. Again, this should be a quick update, maybe five to 10 minutes, and you should be good to go after you do update your phone. However, let's say if you still have issues after you update it, which again, we've seen most of the devices that are impacted resolve after they have done this install. A couple things you might wanna do if you're still having issues or don't see this update here, go ahead and use your computer with iTunes uh, on your PC or MacBook or Finder on the newer MacBook and just do the update there and that should resolve the issue. So after you update your phone, when that update downloads and install, one final thing you want to do to really make sure the phone has no issue whatsoever is doing a forced restart on your iPhone. So to do that, you're gonna quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'll show you guys in real time, we're gonna press the volume up volume down and then hold the side button on our right hand side here we're just simply holding it we're not going to slide to power it off because that will just be restarting we're simply going to keep on holding that side button till the com screen goes completely black and we're going to wait till the apple logo and then we let go of that side button again volume up volume down really quick and then hold that side button until the complete screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo and let go and then let it reboot. Now, for some reason, when you do this, Siri activates, that means you weren't quick enough. But this, again, is a good thing to do whenever you update the software because this forces the phone to reload the code and the software itself to give it a fresh, clean restart to help kind of give the phone the performance that it should be having on the latest version of it. So hopefully this quick little video help you guys resolve that issue with your camera shaking. And if so, make sure that like and subscribe button and do let us know if this actually worked for your phone. So thanks guys again watching. You'll see you guys next time.